So I am Mariana Maffei. I work at Stony Brook. I am an experimentalist working on the organization and plasticity of neural circuits, especially cortical circuits. Well, um, I think the role of theory is to help us make sense of the data, um, because sometimes as experimentalists, we would find interesting findings that biologically make sense, but are limited to um, small sampling. And so having the possibility of putting this data into a broader context, possibly a neural network or even a theory, um, would actually help making sense of what the data are telling us. In most cases, what has happened is that theories um, that I really uh, liked and then didn't reflect the experiments were very useful for me to try to figure out where the theory had a problem and to try to see if I could provide the right experiment to unify the experimental results and adjust the theory. But there's many out there and they're, you know, if they're based on a good intellectual interaction, then in the end, um, even if the initial theory doesn't completely provide the right solution to the experimentalist, um, it provides a beginning or it provides a middle ground or it can provide even the route to pursue for mm -hmm. investigating a problem. So. Um, my take on theories is that they are theories, they need to be confirmed experimentally, and, um, and sometimes it's easy to do, sometimes it's really complicated and it's going to take 20 years or more. <laughs> For me, I study um, synaptic transmission uh, pairwise. So I try to look at connected small groups of neurons, like two, three, four at the most. I look at long-range connectivity and their synaptic properties. When it comes to uh, putting this data um, in the context of functional uh, networks, um, then it becomes complicated because how do we scale up what we see experimentally to what is actually in the brain, right? Um, in a way, having networks that are built to extract as many uh, general properties as possible that are coming from the biology is really what helps us understand what our data mean and try to tie them to specific phenomena in the sensory uh, world, for example, or even uh, specific phenomena related to learning when we're looking at reorganization. Well, the hardest thing to do is find a common language. I'm a biologist, I don't talk networks unless they make it understandable to me. And I understand that for a theorist, sometimes accepting the amount of variability that is in the biologist that to me is obvious becomes really tricky. And so um, the only way I think is to find a topic that is intellectually common and that people really like to talk about and talk about it until um, the language has been uh, unified and so then it can easily uh, work both ways and be a very satisfying collaboration. 